<clears throat> hey guys, this is the Dark Passenger, and I'm just here to talk about the movie The Secret Life of Pets 2. This is an animated film, you know, the sequel to, you know, the follow-up to Secret Life of Pets. You know, that animated film that came out in 2016. And in, in this one, you know, it's all... All of them uh, come back, of course, you know, uh, Max only, Max comes back, only there's someone else voicing him in this one, yes, they recast the voice actor for, for him, Patton Oswalt voices him in this one, and in the first one it was Louis C.K., Louis C. I think. Yeah, but that's the only difference. Everybody else, you know, is the same. And also there's a few, a couple of other additions. Harrison Ford is in this, is, you know, he voices a farm dog called Rooster. And then there's T Tiffany Haddish who voices this um, dog called Daisy who comes to snowball, you know, the the bunny in it who was kind of evil in the first film but then kind of but then got taken in by this girl and became uh, happy again he was just unhappy in the first one because nobody wanted nobody wanted him you know but the story for this one is uh, you know Max and Duke they you know they're still living with their, they're still with their owner Katie and she ends up getting married and having a kid so things change for them and he meets, he, they go to a, tr on a trip to this farm where uh, Max meets Rooster and he tries to overcome his fears you know and Rooster just helps him do that and also you know Back in the city, Snowball, you know, the the bunny, he kind of, you know, ends up having, puts on this uh, superhero costume and takes it, takes it a bit too seriously. And this um, dog called Daisy comes to him and tells him that, you know, a tiger, a tiger is being held captive by this, um, circus person and that you know they he wants she wants him to go save the tiger pretty much to, or to help her save him so that that's pretty much what happens there they save him for, they save that tiger from a bunch of uh, wolves that are watching over him you know they get him out of the cage and they bring him back to the apartment building where they live and also, in the meantime, uh, Gidget, the the dog Gidget, also one of Max's friends, is trying to get his toy back from a group of, because she lost it to a group of cats. And you know, also there's that fat cat Chloe. She's back. She teaches Gidget to act like a cat. And um, then. Who else was back in this? Uh, well, it's actually pretty, pretty much it. I mean, most of there's there were just you know a few new additions, and everybody else was in the f all the other pets that were in the first one came back. You know, like that old old dog came back as well. You know. And there's a funny scene, this was in the trailer, there's a funny scene where Katie tricks Matt, Max into going to the vet because he, he won't stop scratching and, you know, he, she tricks him into going into the, into going to the vet and, um, he ends up with a cone around his head, but while they're sitting in the waiting room, he's got around, he's got all these kind of crazy unhinged animals around him, you know, with behavioral behavioral uh, disorders. Like there's a cat who's sitting next to him and you know, starts talking to him, telling him uh, 
is the best best vet in the in the state in the business. He specializes in, in behavioral disorders and Max says that there's nothing wrong with him, he doesn't have one and that cat, you know kind of says that he's fine too and goes crazy at, at his owner because he thinks that nothing he ever does for her is good. Like he brings home a he brings back a dead mouse, she throws it away. He brings back a dead bird, she throws it away, so and then and then it shows this hamster who's running in his hamster wheel and he comes out and he goes crazy that he's gone nowhere. And also, you know, the farm story was pretty cool about, you know, watching how he, how Max uh, kind of overcomes his fears. He goes, you know, there's, a, there's this scene where one of those, he lets all the sheep, all the sheep out and one of those sheep goes missing. So Rooster and him go to find that sheep. And he ends up on this branch over this, uh, where he ends up somewhere really dangerous, you know, on this branch. And Max, Roost is too big to go down there and get him, so he sends Max, and they both end, almost end up falling out of the air, falling off the edge because that sheep's, uh, Poor uh, hoof got stuck in the um, in the branch, well in the tree. So yeah, he unsticks it, and then you know he Max gets it out, and they end up almost falling to their death. You know Max saves the sheep, then he starts to fall, and Rooster saves him. So he basically ends up overcoming all his fears, you know, about the world, you know, about the dangers of the world, and. They, they save the t and Daisy and Snowball. They save the tiger. They stash him in that old guy's apartment. But then, he kicks that tiger out, the old dog. So, he ended up in Max's apartment. And when Max came back, he caught them. There. He he caught them trying to sneak out. That was pretty funny. But then you know the tiger got recaptured. So they go again to save him. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, there's a pretty entertaining sequel. I mean, not better to the first one to me, but I still really enjoyed it. And I would recommend it, if you're a fan of the first one, to check this one out. It's probably, it's still would, would be one of the best animated films that I've seen. And, you know, I'm a fan of animation, so... That's pretty much all I gotta say. Thanks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for more reviews, updates, thoughts, videos. Uh, peace.